Welcome to Dentists Behaving Badly. I'm Dr. Tony, a dentist who has been in practice for over 20 years. I'm selecting articles from the internet of instances of dentists who have made the news for acting up and others who have found themselves in bad situations. Sometimes good intentions turn into something bad, other times the intentions were bad from the beginning. The link to the story can be found in the description box. This instance of a dentist behaving badly was found in the patch, the local edition of the patch from the Limes, Connecticut on March 7th, 2024. East Lyme dentist sentenced in tax evasion case. East Lyme, Connecticut. An East Lyme dentist was sentenced to 10 months in federal prison for tax evasion, according to a statement from the United States Attorney for the District of Connecticut. Dr. B.H., age 66, will also serve three years of supervised release and pay a $25,000 fine. The doctor owns a dental practice in New London. He owns the building where his practice is located and the practice pays rent to the doctor individually. In the 2010 through 2012 tax years, the doctor filed tax forms for himself and his wife but did not pay the taxes due. From 2012 through 2017, the doctor was subject to IRS collections enforcement for the 2010 through 2012 tax years, including liens placed on the property and seized payments taken through levies, according to prosecutors. Okay, so he had an incident before. From 2013 through 2020, the doctor earned about $1.6 million from his work as a dentist and from rental income. However, he failed to file tax returns for any of those years, resulting in a loss to the IRS of $244,541, according to the prosecutors. Okay. The doctor also attempted to evade taxes by paying himself management fees instead of a reasonable wage, operating in cash by self-endorsing business checks to himself and cashing these checks to keep money out of his personal bank accounts. He would also pay personal expenses directly from his business accounts without reflecting those payments as income. The doctor is required to pay $244,541 in restitution. The doctor pled guilty on July 17th and is required to report to prison on May 6th. Ooh, he is hard-headed. Ooh, a hard head makes a soft behind. He has been having IRS contact levies, liens since 2010, still not filing taxes. And now he's ultimately going to have to spend some time in jail behind bars. I hate this for him, but like mama said, uh, hard head makes a soft behind. I mean, I understand that he wants to keep more of his money. We all do. And Uncle Sam is relentless. But my goodness, 66 and going to jail over something like this is not the ticket. Most dentists endeavor daily to use their skills, talents, and social standing as doctors to provide outstanding care to their patients and serve as role models in the community. A small group of others allow entitlement, greed, and personal proclivities to overshadow their responsibilities to their patients, the profession, society, and in this case, the IRS. Thanks for watching Doctors Behaving, excuse me, Dentists Behaving Badly.